Welcome to the Barbells Gym, where strength meets community and every drop of sweat fuels your journey to greatness. At Barbells Gym, we believe fitness, it's not just a routine, but it's a lifestyle. Here, you can join a vibrant community of individuals who are passionate about unlocking their full potential. Our certified trainers are here to guide you, they're here to motivate you, and they are here to ensure you to reach your fitness goals. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, we have a program for you. Come in and experience the thrill of cutting edge equipment, our carefully designed spaces, and an atmosphere that fosters dedication and determination. <clears throat> Discover the joy <clears throat> of fitness classes that make every workout a party. From high intensity interval training to even yoga classes, we have classes at every level. Here at Barbells, we witness real transformations as our members redefine what's possible. Your success is our success. And we are here to celebrate every milestone with you. After a hard workout, you can go to our nutrition corner and get yourself some wholesome snacks and shakes to keep you energized and focused. Beyond the gym, we're a community that uh, helps support each other. So if you come on in and you join us, we have social events and every month we have challenges. And we have a network of like-minded individuals who will help motivate you and inspire you. Barbell's Gym is where strength meets your story. Join us and let us re redefine together. Your journey to a better life can start right now. Hey guys, it's Brandon with part two of the story of the 2017 Las Vegas Route 91 Country Music Festival shooter. First, I'm gonna start with a timeline of the deadliest mass shooting, just beginning to end of him entering, him shooting off his shots. Um, and it all started at 9.59 p.m. Uh, while the country music festival was going on. Uh, Jesus Campos, who was a worker at the hotel, he was shot in the leg um, while inve investigating a alarm in the separate room. At 10.05, only a couple minutes later, Stefan knocked out two of the windows in his hotel room with a hammer <clears throat> and within minutes by 10 12 two officers were notified and had made it to the 31st floor where they said they could hear the shooting going on um there as well at 10 12 he had shot his last rounds it took two minutes so by 10 17 officers had arrived at his door in the hotel um and by 1026, or sorry, between 1026 and 1030, eight more officers had come and they cleared the floor because they couldn't hear uh, the shooting anymore and thought that he might have maybe even barricaded himself in. They, they didn't really know what his position was at that time. And then a little bit later, uh, around 1055, the officers had to wait, they waited at the staircase. Uh, they were waiting for SWAT to arrive it it wasn't until 11:20 so they were there for almost a good half hour um that it took for SWAT to get up there and they used um explosive materials to knock down Stefan's door and uh in September of 2017 the assets totaled to 530,000 uh down from 2.1 million dollars in two years earlier a uh, hundred thousand was spent in 2017 on just firearms they were all <clears throat> of course legally purchased in Nevada Utah California and even Texas Stefan shot and killed himself in that ho hotel room that night and when that autopsy was performed Valium Valium, something, was found in his system, and he he had that in his system because he suffered from anxiety. Um, but he had no, there was there was really no clue on why he really shot it. He didn't really have a huge motive that anybody. There was many theories um, about it, about him, you know, being a leftist and 
um, him just being angry. He had a huge gambling addiction as well. <clears throat> um, but one, but it was one of the deadliest mass shootings made in the history of the U.S. And it caused people to really look into bump stocks, which were um, banned in 2018.